Welcome to Phoenix Analysis and Design Technologies, where we make innovation work. As an ANSYS channel partner, we sell and support the full suite of ANSYS tools in the Four Corner States and Nevada. Our headquarters is in Tempe, Arizona, while we have offices in Salt Lake City, Utah, Littleton, Colorado, and Albuquerque, New Mexico. In addition, we provide consulting and training in these ANSYS tools worldwide. This is another video in our Getting to Know ANSYS video series. Welcome to ANSYS SI Wave. In this video, we're going to look at what is SI Wave, what are some of its capabilities, why is it useful, and who can benefit from using it. So first, let's start with what is SI Wave. SI Wave is a specialized design and analysis tool for determining signal and power integrity, DCIR, as well as EMI or EMC analyses. These can be performed for multi-layer PCBs, packages, and packages on PCBs as well. SI Wave can import from a variety of commercial ECAT tools, such as Zookin, Mentor Graphics, Cadence, and more, as well as having the ability to modify the layout within SI Wave itself. It has a strong connection with several of the other ANSYS tools, including Red Hawk, HFSS, and ANSYS Ice Pack. Now let's look at some of the questions that you might answer by simulating your model with SI Wave. How is the resonance affecting our signal transmission? What are our voltage drop levels during turn-on events? Is the crosstalk low between these traces? Some of the observations you might make are, there is a large voltage swing at this resonance level. Our voltage drop is too high across these planes. Or, we actually don't need as many decoupling capacitors as we had originally thought. These are a fraction of the questions and observations that you might make by analyzing your system with SI Wave. Now let's look at some of the capabilities. SI Wave has the ability to accurately perform both frequency and time domain analyses. It can evaluate the entire design for both PCBs and IC packages. It provides accurate signal and power integrity analyses from DC all the way up to 50 GHz plus frequencies. Its geometric modification capabilities are easy to use and can provide a strong ability to turn on multiple design iterations in a very efficient manner. Let's take a look at one example of geometric modification by looking at how to modify bond wire profiles in SI Wave. So here we are in SI Wave, where we can see that we've imported in a package. When we zoom into the package, we can see some bond wires in there. And maybe we want to change those. So the first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight them so it'll be easier to see. And then what I can do is go to Edit, Bond Wire Model, and I'm free to change my bond wire profiles here, whether it's using a JDEC four-point standard or even a JDEC five-point standard. For the standards, you can actually see a static diagram which tells you which parameters you might want to change, for example, diameter. The other thing you can do with the bond wire profile is to do what we call sketching. So we can go to sketching mode and we can simply draw in a particular bond wire profile that we're interested in looking at and you can see it all changes on the fly. Now you don't just have to do it graphically like we did here, you can also do it in a table format as shown right now. So you can get a complete picture in a very quick and easy manner. Continuing on, SI Wave can compute resonances, trace characteristics, simultaneous switching noise, DC voltage current distribution, as well as near and far field radiation patterns. It utilizes an automatic adaptive mesh refinement procedure that not only reduces numerical error, but also reduces the amount of input the user has to make. SIWave's PI Advisor provides an optimization tool to identify the number and type of decoupling capacitors needed. If you look at the two figures to the right, you can see the top picture indicates the original design with a particular impedance profile, and you can see it has 36 capacitors. Now when we look at the optimized design, which was done using PI Advisor, we can see that it's a much more optimized design, and furthermore, we've reduced the number of capacitors needed from 36 to 11. Now let's look at why is SI Wave useful. What makes SI Wave extremely useful is the ability to understand the complete IC or PCB design, including trace and via effects. Having the ability to understand resonance, power distribution, radiation effects, and more is important for a design engineer. SI Wave's use of hybrid field solver technologies makes performing analyses quick and efficient. 
As that wave's strong ability to connect to other physics tools is very important. We're going to look at how to connect from SI wave to ice pack to do a power to thermal analysis. So here we are in SI wave, where we've performed a DCIR simulation on this board. We can go to our DCIR analysis and we'll see two checkboxes that interact with ice pack, whether it's exporting the power dissipation to ice pack or importing the temperature results from it. When we go to ice pack, and once we have our board and components, we can go to File, Import, Power Map, SI Wave Profile, and map the power data from SI Wave to ice pack to run a thermal analysis. We can go ahead and look at the temperature variation and see how the power map affected our thermal results. As you can see, this is critical for board design engineers to use. Finally, let's look at who can benefit from using SI Wave. Companies involved with the design, testing, and validation of integrated circuit packages or full PCBs, such as items in cell phones, power conversion modules, or other digital electronics, can really utilize SIWave's broad analysis spectrum. Engineers who need to understand the signal and power transmission features of a particular circuit can use SIWave to deep dive into the fine details of a particular design. Those who need to optimize a board design while achieving performance targets, while reducing costs, can really utilize not only SI Wave's optimization tool, but also the ability to turn around multiple design iterations at a fraction of the time and cost it takes for real-world prototyping. Manufacturers that need to identify why and when board failures might occur can use SI Wave to truly understand how a board operates and why and when it fails. We hope this video on SI Wave was useful. If you have any questions, feel free to jump on our website at padtinc.com or give us a call at 1-800-293-PADT.